My name is Will Loja and I'm in the class of 2024 at BU. See, each class here at BU has their own banner hanging at the GSU and every year a new freshman class comes in on this side and knocks off the graduating class on that side. I'm a sophomore so my banner's safe but any day now at the end of the semester the banners are going to shift again and this one's going to get the boot. Just looking at these banners got me thinking. College goes by fast. We just got back from our end of season team banquet. The seniors made these great heartfelt speeches and it all kind of hit me at once. Time goes by so fast in college. I can't believe these people are already graduating. So without further ado, this video is going to be all about making the most of your time in college. I'm excited. A little host. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Figured I had to come down here to the senior boys on the team for the best perspective on all this. So I just have one question if you all want to give it a go, but you know, with all the perspective you have over your four years, what's one piece of advice you would have to college students? How can they make the most of their time? Start with Axe. I would say uh, just, this is cliche, but try to go a little bit outside your comfort zone. Whether you're originally someone who's more reserved, and that just means making a few friends in your floor, or whether you're someone who's a little bit more outgoing, and that means making friends with people across campus through uh, campus activities and your classes. Um, just try to push your, push your own boundaries and um, get more perspectives of what other people have to say. It's great stuff. You know, take advantage of all the opportunities you get. I'm not saying I'd be a yes person, but you know, if, if someone says, hey, let's go bowling, or you know, question bingo is going on, <laughs> why not go out there and, and see, see, their, see what's going on, meet some people, and uh, yeah, just experience new things. I would also say definitely take advantage of the city of Boston. Um, you're here for four years, um, so explore what you can, um, and you'll like you'll open up to the city and find it like a new home. Awesome boys, let's go! Thanks so much. Just the best answer. Dude, I love how we're all fitted out for this. <laughs> yeah. In this video, I'm going to share the four biggest keys that I found helpful in making the most of my time at BU. A lot of these things are along the same lines of what Axel, Marcel, and Joe just shared, and I truly believe that embracing these things can make your college experience exponentially better. Like anything, college is what you make it, you get out what you put in. So to start off, number one is go to events. In college, you have the opportunity to go to a ton of free events, well, free, they're included in your tuition, but that's all the more reason to go. Tonight, I'm going to a Cinematech, which is run through the film and TV department. I'm actually required to go to one per semester as a double major in advertising and film and TV, but I'd still go anyways, even if I wasn't. All right, good luck. That was awesome. The speaker was an Oscar and Emmy Award winner, director and writer, so it doesn't get much bigger than that. It was in person for the students, but he was on Zoom, which obviously it's better when it's all in person. But the cool thing now after the pandemic and Zoom becoming a thing is that you can have people who may not have been able to come to Boston in person to speak. For example, he was in LA. Maybe he wouldn't have been able to come, but now with Zoom, we're able to do that kind of thing. So. Very cool. I can't stress enough how important it is to get out to these events. Get your money's worth at college, you won't regret it. Next on the list is leave your dorm room. Don't get me wrong, I love my dorm, especially the view. And after a short elevator ride, the view gets upgraded to this. Yeah. But the reason I recommend leaving is because no matter what, you're going to have plenty of time in your dorm room. You live here. So anytime you're studying or doing homework, I say get out of your dorm, find somewhere else on campus, and do it there. One of my personal favorite places to come and study is the Questrom School of Business. In my opinion, this is the nicest academic building at BU. Sorry, Calm. But I'm not actually here to study right now. It's night. I just came back after that Cinematech I showed you earlier and nobody's here right now, this is so cool, but check out the lobby. I mean, come on, how sick is this? They've got all the flags hanging up. Number one, coolest building at BU. Questrom actually has its own library, which is very nice, and its own Starbucks. So as they say, Questrom means business. 
Right now I'm at the Mugar library, but I have to be quiet because there's these two girls studying next to me. <laughs> they get mad. <laughs> so it's a week before finals and it's a Friday night and Rituja and I are making most of it by studying at the library. Yeah. On a Friday night. I'm not doing that. I'm not studying on a Friday. But I'm not studying tonight, but I think I might be getting a little smarter anyways just by being surrounded by all these books. Third on my list takes the idea of leaving your dorm a step further, and that is leave campus. See that area of green down there? That's a small park called Magazine Beach. I'm gonna head there right now. Boom. See that building there? That's Stuvie too. That's where I live, and that's where I was just pointing down here from. Just across the river, over the BU Bridge, there's this nice little park, and on top of being a great place to go for a walk, I figured it's also a great vantage point to show you the city skyline. fun. A lot of colleges are in the middle of nowhere, so leaving campus isn't fun. But at BU, the city of Boston is right here. It's an extension of our campus. You, know, you, you only live in a city so much in your life, you know, so you got to take advantage of all the uh, things that you have to offer here. So it's a great yeah. opportunity. Yeah. People come to Boston on vacations and to have fun. We actually live here, so take advantage of that. A little trip out to the Time Out hey. Market. Lots of restaurants, museums in here. Tonight I'm at Time Out Market with a bunch of my friends. It's like a 10 minute walk from campus and they have tons of food options, every kind of cuisine. It's a really great atmosphere inside and everybody has something they like. It's gonna be super fun. I'm sticking to my roots tonight, going with Italian. Hell yeah. Trap nose, you got it. Come on. <laughs> For dessert. My oh, man, Casey, what are we giving Time Out Market out of 10? Uh, we'll give it a. The food, we'll give it a 7. Nice. What'd you get? Ambiance. Oh, I got like a uh, fried chicken or okay. waffle fries. Nice. Ambiance, I mean, it's like an 8 or 9. Insane. That was so much fun. There's Look a at lot it. of fun. Outside, too. Look at that. We love Boston. Can't beat it. On top of never running out of places to eat, one thing I've really enjoyed is going to Red Sox games. You can get tickets for $9 as a student. Love it! And I'm not even a Red Sox fan, but when you can walk to Fenway and get tickets for so cheap, it doesn't matter if you don't know what a baseball is. You've got to get out to those games. <laughs> There's also a ton of concerts in Boston. This clip is from a Bryce Vine concert where I was in the second row. It was super fun. And even during the winter, which gets pretty cold here, there are plenty of things to do in the city for the holidays, including a Christmas tree lighting called Light Up Seaport, where they have live music and lots of pop-up stores. And last but not least on my list is stay in touch. Everyone has people back home, whether it be friends or family, that genuinely care about what you're doing in college. Personally, I'm very close with my family and we have our own Snapchat group where we share pics and videos of what we're up to. This can be anything from selfies with friends or quick video clips and even pictures of what I'm eating. In this day and age where it's so easy to just take out your phone and capture what's going on, definitely take advantage of that, send it to people back home, they'll really appreciate it. And as a bonus, you can even save it yourself to one day look back on. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really had fun making it. It reminded me of how much I want to take advantage of every opportunity in college, and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you want to see more of my videos, check out my YouTube channel. It's my name, Will Loja, and as always, embrace your life story, spread the love.